Welcome to Apex Esports League. Tonight is round four of the Logitech G Supercars Championship. It is a five round series, so nearing the back end of the championship. And of course, it is proudly sponsored by Logitech G, so there is a fantastic prize available to our drivers, or sorry, to the winner of the, the series, should I say. So the series session tonight, we have 10 minutes of practice. Dri drivers are currently over in pit lane at the moment. And then there's 10 minutes qualifying, and then the race is 40 minutes, and there is 47% cap fuel. So we'll see a pit stop in that, and weather conditions are set to overcast. So after the third round, we had Blake Urquhart still leading the championship. So he's now leading by 96 points ahead of Robbie Bradbury. And then Hayden Sell is not too far behind. So Blake sitting in a pretty good position to be able to win the Logitech G prize. So after last, sorry, last week we had Charlotte Motor Speedway Roval. We had Blake Urquhart take the victory after qualifying pole. So we did see Hayden quali sorry, qualified second. Hayden qualified in pole position. He had the fastest lap for the race and he did have some technical issues having to see him retire out. So it was possibly going to be a victory for Hayden. So, of course, this is the prize that the drivers are competing for, the Logitech G502 Lightspeed Wireless Gaming Mouse. It's a fantastic prize being given by Logitech G, and Blake is on his way to getting that very soon. So, over to the track now. Bring up some details. Screen. So at the moment we are looking at Stephen Banks. And if you're joining us for the stream, you haven't yet done so, don't forget to hit that follow button. We do broadcast the iRacing on Monday night, 7:30 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. We do also do the Project Cars 2 on Thursday night, same time. And then we are doing V8 Supercars as well. So plenty of V8 action going on at the moment. So a few times in the practice session already. There's four minutes remaining of the practice session. So far, Blake Ergert's come through with the quickest time of 54.966. Sebastian Vandell not too far behind that either. While you join us for the stream, don't forget to say hello in the chat. I can see the chat. And there is also a bunch of sound effects controls down underneath the stream, so you can play a variety of some fun sound effects over the stream. So there's cheers and applauses and boos or any other funny sound effects that may be suitable throughout the course of the race, so be sure to have some fun with those and make it your, your stream as well. So over to our championship leader. at the moment. Oh, it's a little bit wide. So he's practicing out that pit entrance. It will be crucial as messing up the pits could potentially have some issues in getting a victory. So we've got a fair few MSR cars out on the track. I think there's supposed to be five of them from MSR racing tonight. Sebastian Barndell now joining the guys with the same markings. At least they do have their names on the top of the car, so it might be a bit easier to pick. The guys were joking that I'm going to be having my hands full trying to identify who's who with all the similar paint markings of the MSR guys. So the Sam Tucker too, we missed him last week. Wasn't able to get on, so it's good to see him on there. We've got 13 cars out on track at the moment. So it should be some very good type racing action for Sakuba. Aaron Thompson just running off wide. I think that's on turn one. That's pretty tight. Looks like Hayden Sell tucking in behind Stephen Banks. Seem to show a fair bit of pace. Hayden's had some fantastic pace throughout the series. He's just had a lot of bad luck technical issues having to see him retire out last week and then he had some pit drama issues 
I think it was the following week as well that saw him cop nearly an extra 10 to 20 seconds in the pits. Something that did definitely cost him the opportunity for a victory. So Tony Vasellis, another driver in the MSR. Same as Lachlan Hewitt as well. Pretty sure we got a couple of clutch kicker boys as well. Mark Horton too. Driving with clutch kickers. And a new driver debuting with us tonight as well. Andrew Collins Knight. A fantastic looking Mobile One car. And Hayden Cell. Oh, a bit of contact, I think. Was, was that Lachlan's car? Not sure. That was a bit brutal. So there's, I think it may have been Neil that Hayden made contact with then. So there's Neil, is the other MSR driver. Thompson is the other clutch kickers driver. It isn't a team championship, but there are plenty of team drivers currently running in the series. That's good to see. So there we have the conclusion of the practice. So now be heading into 10 minutes of qualifying. Once the drivers all load in, we'll see them just in a moment. They are scrambling out on track very quickly. Still a couple loading in. Jump on board for a lap around with our drivers. I jump on board with our championship leader. It's on board the Ford Mustang with Blake Urker. Taking it easy on the outlap, he's straight into this car. So, rather technical this track. There's not a lot of room for these cars, especially in the pace that these things go. It is a good favourite track. Very tricky, fast corner here. Trying to get that perfect line and then push this car straight down to that exit curb. A very slow lap for his first lap out, so that car is holding very well. So for turn one, Watching that throttle control coming out of the exit. And it can be into a big spin here as you bounce from curb to curb. Hairpin and nicely done. A little bit of slip as he comes out of that fast corner. And then it's hard to get this car over and then braking time. See a lot of engine braking so it doesn't actually lock that car up the slide coming it down to that final hairpin. I think he's chasing one of the clutch kickers boys at the moment. This is going to be a pretty quick lap. I think they're getting around the 55 second marks in the practices. So that is pretty tight, 55, 1, 2, 2, 6. That was a very tidy lap. So that, that was a pole setting lap. Neil McKenzie is 0.692 off that pace at the moment. A little bit of chaos going. Stephen Banks has just come through for second quickest time. So he's 0.348 off of Blake's time. Blake will be wanting to get that car back out for another lap after making a bit of contact. I'm not sure who was going for that spin then. Oh, uh, is the lad feet a bit laggy? I'll see if I can. Up. 
cleaning will be a little bit smoother now. So Stevens just brought that car in. So back over to Sam Tucker. He's come through for the third, quickest time. Sitting with the board is changing a little too quick for me. Let us know if the stream is a little bit less laggy for us. Ooh, a bit of chaos again down around turn one. I think that was Stephen Banks. I've just gone off track, but he didn't take damage, so you'll probably stay out for it. Yeah, the internet seems to be having a few dramas currently. Sebastian Van Dill's come through for the quickest time. He's taken pole position away. So almost a 55 flat. So Robbie Bradbury's next in line. So 0.346 off of pole time. Robbie Bradbury doing quite well. See him and Hayden are chasing Blake Urquhart for the championship win. And to be able to go into the final round next week. As long as Blake gets a pretty reasonable finish. Doesn't need to be a victory. He could be in line to still be able to take the championship win. It is a very strong possibility still. Robbie's just been bumped down. Stephen Banks has just snuck through with the third time. And bumped down again. Hayden Sell comes through with a very quick lap. So it was a 55.197. So we've seen some pretty consistent laps. Slowest time out there is a 57.9. So there's not much difference. It's only two and a half seconds between... Yeah, he's just improved that time as well. It's down to a 57.5. So there's only two and a half seconds separating 13 cars currently. Ah, uh, Mick has jumped down board for... Cheering on the clutch kickers. Two clutch kickers boys on track. MSR has taken over the track well and truly. Blake Oak snuck back through with the fastest lap. There's a minute 50 remaining of it, the qualifying session. So Blake snuck in with a 55.028. Sebastian Vandel previously set a 55.088, so he's pretty tight. 
There's enough time to get out there for them to at least get another hot lap in for sure. And they are improving these times very quickly. Gonna have a chance to be able to get out for another lap now. Their times will be cemented in. So it leaves the rest of the guys to be able to bump that out for sure. Semitar getting side by side. I think that's coming down in through turn one. Yeah, it does look like it coming down into the hairpin now. No, it's actually the back end, that's my apologies. So Tony Vassell is being followed by Neil McKenzie. Ooh, a little bit of slip and he's going to go off and come back on in front. That's just wrecked that last lap for them as they're coming up to the finish for the qualifying. That's very unfortunate for them. Bringing that car in as well. Aaron Maguire in some different markings. I'm pretty sure it was running a black Commodore last week. Sebastian Van Delt tries to steal away a pole, doesn't get to. Sam Tucker's practicing pit entry at the moment. And that is it for the qualifying. have gone a bit funny so I'll just remove them. So we have Blake Urquhart taking pole position followed by Sebastian Vandel. So it's very close between those two times. It's 55.028 to a 088. That is very tight. So then we have Stephen Banks just in the 55.110. Then Hayden Sell taking fourth with a 55.197. Robbie Bradbury taking fifth, Sam Tucker two taking sixth, Sebastian that's, um, just gone all haywire as the guys reload back in. As they get ready for the start of the race, they got a couple of minutes hit ready and then we'll be all set to go. Display stuff is just playing up, so bear with me while I relay it all back up again. This bike's going to be in a very good position for coming down to turn one. Once Hayden Sell gets up in alongside of him. Actually, I think it's Sebastian Vardell. He's pretty sure he took position two. A few drivers roving it up as they are getting ready. Probably quickly ducking off for a quick break before the 40 minutes ahead. So, got 30 seconds for them all to get to the grid. If they don't get to the grid in time, they will actually have to start from the pits on the hill that they have all come across. If Hayden, sorry, Sebastian Van Dell gets a good jump on Blake oh, Urquhart. New ad, lights are green. Ooh, a little bit of a delayed start for Blake Urquhart. Stephen Banks gets up in around him. They're getting up alongside of him. He's going to own track position into turn one. 
Can he switch him back around the corner? No, he doesn't. So Stephen Bakes takes the lead. And Robbie Bradbury is also ducking out along the side. It's just in front of Hayden Cell. Ooh, a little bit of contact. There's big chaos coming down in the turn three. I'm not sure if anyone's been turned around. I think Stephen Banks has been, you know, big whack. And has put him back down to 13th, so he was leading. That's very unfortunate for him. I think Hayden may have taken some damage in that as well. Looks like a bit of a scrape on the front of the car. Blank now gets back out into the lead. Sebastian Vandell has Sam Tucker breathing down his neck at the moment. He's closed right in, so it's put out a bit of space after that incident. We have Mark Horton tucking behind. Oh, and Sam's lost the bonnet to his car, so he must have taken a good hit in that incident with Stephen Banks. So that's probably going to be some definite aero damage going on with that car. It's going to be, could be quite devastating to him over the course of 40 minutes as well. Mike's got a little bit of space between him and Tony Vasellis at the moment. Robert Bradbury had also taken a bit of a whack and then dropped down into 7th position. So he was darting up into about 3rd position. Testing with Sebastian Van Dell on that first corner. close in. Aaron Thompson is also ringing it up behind. Oh, Hayden is in the pits. I'm not sure if he's had a jump start or dealing with damage. They do have quick repairs available. Oh, he's finding an issue trying to find that. He has had technical issues and pit issues before. Hopefully it doesn't cost him another race. That would be disappointing for him. But he is very advantageous for Blake Urquhart. Is now leading out by two and a half seconds over Sebastian Vandel. Sam Tucker has moved up into third position. Mark Horton is starting the chase down Sam. He's only got about one and a half seconds between him and Sam. Look at that big line of cars going down that back straight. They are still keeping pretty close gaps to each other. Lachlan currently a couple of laps back. So he must have taken quite a big whack. Andrew Collins waiting on that pit. Gives way to all that traffic. Well done there, Andrew. Hayden is back out on track, so no technical issues. Probably just dealing with some damage. Check out the actual details of Aaron's car now. Stephen Banks looking to claw his way back up the ladder. Gets around Neil McKenzie. Almost enough speed from Neil to be able to do a switch back. But it did balk him a little bit, so Stephen did get away on him. Robbie Bradbury is quickly closing in on Tony Vasellis. Our race leaders are leading well and truly out in front. Damage from Steven. There is a hefty scrape up the side of that car. He's done well. Sorry, this is Robbie, not Steven. He's in the matching car livery. Steven is car 777. Robbie is car 35. The KFC guys. He's really staying on tail of Tony Vasellis. He's almost going to look for an opportunity coming down to that corner. Ooh, a little bit of a lock for Tony. That's going to be an opportunity for Robbie to get up along inside of him coming onto the back straight. Tucks back in. It's not quite enough to get around. He's going to have to stay nice and tight. Try and follow him through and get a good run in on pit straight. Did consider it. He's going to get up alongside. No, not enough speed to be able to position himself well and truly for turn one. So to our race leader. We do have Sebastian closing in now. 
So last lap by Blank was a little bit slower, so he's 0.2 slower than Sebastian Vandel. So that's allowed Sebastian to quickly close that gap in a little bit more. He could potentially be having a crack at Blake in the next lap or two if he keeps this pace up. Mark's also got Tony Pacellis and Robbie looking to catch up and get around him. This is a very tight gap. Look at that. Six cars along that that back straight. So currently lap six and they are still holding very tight. And with this very short track over the course of 40 minutes, we're going to be having a bit of back marking coming up. And even with quick pace, we'll be still seeing that. So it's going to be a bit interesting for our race leaders once they start coming up to some traffic. Robbie's now moved up into fourth position. Aaron Thompson dropping back. Tony Vassell is also looking to be in between him and Stephen Banks. Oh, Stephen Banks gets up to get alongside. Positions in. I think there's a little bit of contact. He didn't have enough track position to actually own the apex at that time. So he did yield just enough. Otherwise, that could have potentially been an at-fault incident. And he does not want that. Blake's still flying out ahead. I think there is some traffic at the moment, so Sam Tucker has this been all lapped. I think Sebastian and Blake get around him. Mark Horton currently in third position. Holding nice. Consistent pace at the moment. He seems to be putting a bit of gap on the rest of the field. However, Robbie is quickly making his way up through the pack. So reclaiming back to where he was before the lap one incident. We get a chance we might even go back and just see what did actually go on with that. Oh, very broad. That's been a very costly mistake for Robbie. He's going to give that position back up to Neil, Mc Neil McKenzie. Aaron Maguire is also then closing in on him. Oh, he's quickly straight back into it, though. Well, I think that's enough to get around. A nice, clean pass, taking back that position in turn one. I think going to block in between Aaron Maguire as well now, pushing Neil back in. Oh, Aaron goes to get up alongside of Neil. himself but then Neil did get away a lot quicker oh and that is a mistake from Stephen Banks I think that's where we saw him lock up before he's probably contending with a bit of damage to the car as well from that incident in lap one Sebastian has taken some damage as well so he's now trailing behind Blake Urquhart by seven and a half seconds. See if we can find out what went on for him. So yes, yeah, so he's had spun off and taken some wall contact. So that is very unfortunate for Sebastian. So our championship leader Blake now well and truly out in front down to take it easy not seeing Sebastian quickly closing in on him like he was before and that's now allowed Mark to be able to start to catch up to Sebastian and especially with Sebastian now taking some front aero damage Mark could definitely be getting some better speed along those straights and then start to see that oh no a little bit of slip Cost him about half a second in slip there. Now the clutch kickers is bringing up behind Mark. He's currently in fourth position. Robbie currently in fifth. Mackenzie has 
Stephen Banks starting to close in on him. Stephen looking to position himself and get up in along him. Seems to be getting some very nice speed through the corner. Seems to be carrying a lot of mid-corner speed. Seeing try and position that nose in quite early. Very good throttle control coming out of there. Oh, a lock for by Neil. That's just cost him some time. where we've seen Steven lock up a couple of times on this back hairpin. I think he's going to do it. He's probably dive on and spin out. He's probably just forced him off. It didn't force him off. Did get around. That was quite a risky pass, but he did manage to pull that off. We have Blake now leading the race by 8.7 seconds. Three seconds behind Sebastian is Mark Horton. Aaron Thompson five seconds behind Mark currently. Andrew Collins has retired out. Managed to complete five laps. So he did have quite a big off track incident. Let's see if we can catch what that was at the time. It's not who we are looking for, but. since he's actually left the session now. So Blake's now leading by 9.1 seconds. About 27 minutes remaining of the race. Cheers, Kangaroo. I'll see if I can try and fix something up. Should be looking a little bit smoother now. I'm getting green light on the stream. New Telstra manages to keep my con connection running a bit smoother. Sebastian now currently trailing by 10 seconds from Blake. Closing in on Sebastian. Last lap was pretty quick. Well, quickest lap for Mark is a 56.2. Sebastian Van Dels last lap 
So he is slowly bringing that gap in. And that could potentially be from the damage that Sebastian has taken. Oh, but a little mistake from Mark locking that tyre coming into the corner. Could have been quite disastrous. Not sure if that car's probably sporting some suspension damage to the car as well. Might jump on board and just see if that wheel is seeming to be straight. having to fight too much with it. So it doesn't look like he's taken any damage to the steering, so he is very lucky. It's just aero damage that he's having to contend with. We'll potentially be coming up to the point where we may see the driver start to pit in for some fuel. Sam Tucker has been from the pits. It was quite a lengthy pick from the looks of things too. Lachlan Hewitt having to pit earlier to deal with the damage. So he will have to go again as he did pit quite early on. So it's not going to be enough fuel with the fuels being capped at 47%. out in front still. Last lap was just about the quickest. Sam Tucker actually just set the quickest lap around the last lap with 56.1. Lakes was a 56.2. Sebastian Vandel in the 57s. Mark's also in the a56, so that's where he's starting to close that gap in. Sebastian's probably just trying to hold out for as many laps as he can over the next few minutes. And then contend with the damage whilst he's got to get fuel. Those two stops is not going to be beneficial to him over the course of the race. Stephen Banks has recovered nicely up into fourth position. Matching team colours with Robbie in position five. Yeah, that's right, King of the Air. There was some 55 seconds in the practice. They were doing some very good laps. The guys were on fire with what they were showing. Oh, the we have Stephen and Robbie peeling off into the pits. So that's allowed Neil McKenzie to move up into position four. Need to pit very shortly as well. So Stephen and Robbie making the most of it. So having to share a bay. Hopefully it'll be a nice quick stop for these guys. Blake's probably in a pretty good position for pitting as well. We've seen about average so far for pit stops. I think around 15 seconds. So he's currently leading the race by 12.3. He's going to be in a very good position to be able to pit and be back out on track, potentially still be in the lead for the race. He won't have to wait for anyone else to come in and pit before reclaiming that position. I'm sure Sebastian will be pitting this lap. It's a good opportunity and the car's looking to be a little bit slippery as well. So the fuel load lightening off and those tyres are probably have, have a fair bit of wear to them now. And you can join us for the stream as well. If you notice our social media links down below, you can keep up to date with our results, standings and incident reports after the races on our Facebook page. There's also links there to, for our group if you want to get involved in any of our racing. All the details will be in there to be able to get involved. There's plenty of stop spots available if you want to get involved in the iRaces. But there's also, for those that are on PS4 or PS5, we do have Project Cars 2 events on Thursday night. So keep an eye out for that if you are a console player. H 
Hayden currently in sixth position. He has already pit. I'm not sure what lap he ended up going into the pits. lap two so he's gonna to have to pit again so that was when he took some damage so that was a 10 second pit stop and he had to contend with that damage oh very slippery with him it's probably gonna be needing to get him for some fuel these cars are gonna be very flighty light fuel and worn tires lock of the back left by Blake coming down into the first hairpin Still opted to stay out on track. Mark is still bringing the time down. Oh, he locked out coming into that hairpin as well. Those tyres probably not pulling the car up as good. So a fair bit of spacing going on with our drivers at the moment. So we'll make our way through the list. Sam Tucker currently in 12th position. Lachlan Hewitt is in 11th. Then we have Tony Vasellis currently in 10th position. One lap down. Looks like Aaron Thompson just coming out of the pits as we went past. It's Aaron Maguire sitting in 8th position. has been in and pit as well. So he did pit on lap 22. So he's only just come out. So meeting the halfway point. So hopefully if all goes well, that'll be his only pit requirement. Recover some positions. Oh, I just heard a mark. I think that's Sam Tucker and he's just towed that car in. It's unfortunate for him to be waiting a couple of minutes before he can get that car repaired. Hopefully he doesn't have to retire out. So one of the other MSR guys heading off into the pits. I think, yes, that is Blake. He's lucky last pit stall as well, so he'll be first off the rank. Mark Horton moves up into the race lead, but he will need to pit. We did see Mark last out a little too long back at Oran Park where he started to actually lose a fair bit of lap times by staying out on some very well scrubbed tyres. So hopefully he doesn't stay out there too long. So it brings that car in, doesn't lose out on some precious lap times. So Blake back out on track, a very quick pit. That's just seen him do a 13.8 second pit stop. So that's a very nice quick stop. So he's coming out 11.6 seconds behind Mark. So that will be easily claimed when Mark has to head into the pits. So it looks like he's going to be pushing this car to its fullest limits before he brings that car in for some juice. I'm not sure if... Yes, Sebastian has been in as well. So he did pit lap 24. So he's only just come out for this lap, his first out lap since it. So he's now got that bonnet back on. That car's going to be feeling a lot nicer for him. He's probably going to be putting some good speed out of the thing now. He was doing quite well with his lap times still, besides the car not being to its maximum performance as well. Aiden has moved up into fourth position. That's likely he's going to have to come in very soon for some fuel, as we saw him pit on lap two. And the KFC boys have also been in for their fuel. Robbie Grabry currently in fifth position, followed by Stephen Banks in sixth position. Mackenzie a little ways off between those guys. It's about 14 seconds separating Stephen Banks and Neil McKenzie. Aaron Maguire is starting to close that gap in on Neil. Seems 
just coming around that hairpin. Tony Vassellis is also quite close to him as well. 1.8 second gap between the two. Leading the race and still opting to stay out on track. So he's definitely not getting some very good lap pace at the moment. That lap was a 57.1. He was doing about 56 seconds before. So he definitely needs to bring this car in. Otherwise he's going to be losing a fair bit of time each lap that he stays out. It's currently Blake's putting down 55.3. So with some fresh rubber and that car with a bit more weight to it to stick it down. Oh, that was looked like it was almost a lock wheels trail breaking into that hairpin by Sam. So he did get back out on track after having to tow the car back to the pits. Done pretty well for incidents so far in the race. Expecting some potential big incidents to occur and possibly a safety car to have to come out. So you can even see the back mark is you know, putting down a lot more pace than what Mark is currently doing. He's losing out speed big time. Seems Sam Tucky is currently doing 55.5. Mark's the slowest car out there currently. He's getting 57 second laps. needs to bring that car in so we can try and start reclaiming back those lap times. Could potentially be an incident. He's probably going to have to get on the brakes here if he's going to be looking at getting in. No, he's opting to stay out for another lap. So Sam passes him. A big broad slide in the rear by Mark. That car is becoming even more difficult to control. Every lap is out there currently. Blake is flying to catch up. I think that's Hayden Sell just in behind Blake, yes that is. Sell racing car. Locked by Blake, so Hayden putting down some pretty good pace. So having the pit taking damage early on, definitely costing him. He's got some very strong laps out there. Been possibly been giving Blake a very good work for the race. It's not going to be an easy win for him. It's unfortunate for some bad luck. It hasn't been a lot of luck for Hayden in this series. Technical issues and then an incident this time around. Mark still stays out for another lap. There's 11 minutes remaining. That car is going to be very light. Stephen Banks catching up to his teammate Robbie at the moment. A little bit of a bluffing going on. Like it was only Robbie out there on his lonesome. Stephen did actually vanish for a moment. You can see him taking a very different line compared to Robbie's line coming down into that hairpin. The race pace is pretty on par with each other. Last laps was 56.0 and 56.2. Their fastest laps both in 55.7. It's a very closely matched to each other. So Mark's been in and pit now. It's a pretty quick pit stop, only 11.4 seconds. Like 
feeling some pressure from Hayden still. Hayden is currently a lap down, but still giving Blake a bit of a work around Sukuba. So Mark has come out in third position. He's 13 seconds behind position two. Sebastian is probably looking in, to be in a pretty safe spot in position two with nine minutes remaining. 13 seconds between him and Mark. Reach for him to try and close that gap in on Blake at this stage. Last lap around Sebastian was 0.3 of a second quicker than Blake. pace to be able to catch him over the next eight minutes. So we're currently on lap 26. Sorry, not lap 26, lap 33 I should say. I was looking at lead, so we blank has lead for 27 laps. Mark lead for six. Robbie Brabry and Stephen Banks starting to close in on Mark. Taking a much more inside line down into turn one. Robbie carried a lot more mid corner speed. However, Mark did get away a bit quicker. Let's see how he goes through the hairpin. as he hunts down Mark. Mark gets away pretty quick. There's almost a bit of a balk going on. More speed carried in by Robbie. See that different line that Mark is taking down in through corner one. Seems to get away a lot quicker. Oh, there's a bit of a mistake by Mark that's going to cost him not a position. A bit of time though. Manages to get away pretty well. Feeling the pressure from seeing Robbie in his mirror. How quick Mark seems to be getting away from Robbie, even though Robbie comes through quite quick through that corner, you can see him catch up to him. And it's this very strong inside line he takes. There's going to be a bit of traffic for them to contend with here at the same time. This could potentially spell incident. See Mark get away on that very different inside line. It's quite interesting. Stephen now catching up as well. I'm not sure who that is that they have actually caught up with. You just get on the brakes for them. I think that was Lachlan. Well done, Lachlan. Gives them the space to get around. Let's have Aaron McGuire starting to close in on Tony Vassellis. 1.6 seconds separating him. Oh, that has started to slip out. It's now 1.8. There's five and a half minutes remaining of the race. Blake Urquhart is leading by 14.3 seconds over Sebastian Van Delp. He's in a very good position to be able to take the win for the championship coming into the final round. The victory will be a very strong lead. I don't know if it could possibly be enough points, but as long as he just shows up and gets a position on the board, he could secure the championship win. However, it will need to be 
clean races and drivers do potentially cannot lose points for any at fault incidents. So you will need to ensure a clean race so he doesn't lose any possible points for the championship. Sebastian Van Del has a very safe gap between him and third position currently. It's another 15 seconds separating. So our race leaders currently all separated by 15 seconds. Robbie has moved up into third position around Mark Wall. Mark gets very slippery and goes off track. He's nearly going to come back on and make contact with Lachlan. That was very close. There was not much in it for that. Let's see if we can just see how close that was. Look how tight that was for him to get around. That is crazy. Narrowly avoids him. So the rest of the field currently, Neil McKenzie in fifth position. Three seconds behind him is Tony Vasellis. Aaron Maguire a couple of seconds behind. He's also got Sam Tucker sitting behind him and Sam is a couple of laps back. But he's been putting down some fierce pace. Last lap out there was the quickest. A 56.180 and that was by Sam Tucker. So this is why he's still giving the rest of the field a fair bit of a workout. Ooh, made a little bit of contact with Aaron. Looking to try and recover some lost laps. And he's got some fierce pace compared to the rest of the field so well done to Sam trying to make his way back up. Some traffic around him that is all passed through now. Probably having passed him just not too long ago. It's Neil McKenzie from the MSR currently in fifth position. So about nine seconds between him and Mark Ord. Sam recovering some more positions. He's really looking to unlap himself here. He's going to pass the entire field. And he's managing 55.4 for his fastest lap. Last lap of 56.1. Still the quickest lap out there currently. This is a minute 30 left for the race. Tony and Neil currently 4.3 seconds apart. It's enough time that he could potentially catch that ground up over the remaining two laps. It's our race leader still managing to keep that gap between him and position two. Sebastian with 15.8 seconds. Increased as well, so possibly a mistake by Sebastian costing a bit of time. So that's just dropped out to 18.6 seconds now. Sorry, no, 16.8. If I can get them right, that's the difference between Sebastian and Robbie currently. So Sebastian in a very safe place for position two. Having Blake bring up to the final lap in a moment. And having to get around some back traffic. So there's nine seconds remaining of the race. So this will be waved for the white flag. This will be last lap. Sebastian is leading by. Sorry, no, Blake is leading over Sebastian by 17.1 seconds currently. 
followed by Robbie. In third position is 6.9 seconds away from Mark, so he's going to be pretty safe for podium. And we'll be crossing over for an interview with position one and position two at the results of the race as well, so be sure to stay tuned for the driver's points of view of how it went for them tonight. And here we are, Blake bringing it up top of the podium, taking victory and getting closer for the prize from Logitech G. Congratulations, taking the win in round four, Blake. We have Sebastian Vandel bringing up in position two. Let's see a victory burnout going on for Blake. Well done, congratulations to Sebastian. For the other spot on the podium, Robbie Bradbury coming onto the final corner now. Show will be joining him for a smoke show at the end of that as well. Well done, Robbie, for position three. Mark Horton in position four, which is as Hayden spit out in front of him. All cars blocking the back end of pitch straight. Neil McKenzie comes across the line in position five. Big broad slide in the last corner by Tony Vasellis. Impressive drift to finish it off. And in position seven, Hayden Sell in eighth. jump over and look at the results now as concluded then we'll be interviewing the drivers in just a moment so we have the conclusion of round four so we have Blake Urquhart taking the win followed by Sebastian Vandel in second then we have Robbie Bradbury in third position and the rest of the field we have Mark Horton, Neil McKenzie, Tony Vasellis, Aaron Maguire, Aaron Thompson, Hayden Sell, Lachlan Hewitt, Sam Tucker and Stephen Banks having dropped back a bit again at the end and also Andrew Collins who ended up having to retire out so 38 laps down and I just heard a, an engine explode from a burnout in the background whilst they were doing that so that was um some impressive burnouts are obviously doing while we were looking at that so we'll cross over to our drivers for an interview in a moment still hear plenty of burnouts going on should have Hayden and sorry no Sebastian and Blake in here in a moment I'll just unmute them we should be able to hear them Hello, Blake and Sebastian. Can you hear me? G'day, mate. Sure, Dad. No worries. Congratulations on the race. It's a fantastic win there, Blake. Thanks, mate. Had a nice, impressive lead in the end by about 15 or 16.2 seconds. And then also for Sebastian, having about the same between you and position three, Robbie. So what was going on at that um, the start there? You potentially were going to have a bit of action going on with uh, the battles from the rest of the field in around, I think it was turn two. Yeah. Um, to be honest, I don't know what happened there. Um, I watched the replay a few times. It looked like he just braked early um, into that corner. And yeah, I just need, didn't notice the brakes. He was breaking halfway through that uh, cicane there. Um, but yeah, other than that, um, I probably should have been watching what I was doing, but, um, hopefully I didn't stuff up his race. Um, but other than that, it was a good race. Um, Ties was the bit, how you going around this track though, you gotta, had to really look after him around here. Um, and feel, you gotta watch your feel if you're gonna make it or not. Um, with that 40 minutes as well, cause you only get that 20 minutes of, uh, 22 laps of fuel. 
But um, yeah. other than that, the, the, gaff, the car felt great around here and the setup felt good. But um, yeah. Thanks for the, um, putting the server up, mate. Much appreciated. No worries. And um, <clears throat> Sebastian, you had a bit of a scary moment losing the bonnet to your car when you took that spin and made some war contact, but you'd had a brilliant recovery afterwards. It scared me a bit. <laughs> it could have gone a lot worse. We did catch it as you went for the spin, making that contact. We didn't know if you may have actually taken some steering damage or not, but the car seemed to be um, just losing out a little bit of top end speed for a good while. No, I hit front on, so the car felt all right. It was just a bit of top end that I lost. Yeah, that's all right. Well, it um, paid off and you got quite lucky for that one. Could have been a lot worse. Yeah, it could have been. All right, thanks, guys. No, thanks, mate. Congratulations thanks for putting it on. on the race. And then thanks, we'll mate. see you for the finale next week. Of course, at the Bathurst Mount Panorama, so there's going to be plenty of action. Cheers, mate. Looking forward for the Bathurst. Yep. See you then. Cheers. Thanks, mate. Good race, Blake. You too, buddy. So there we have Blake and Sebastian, position one and two for the race. So, of course, next week we have the finale for the Logitech G Supercars Championship. So we are, of course, doing it at Mount Panorama Circuit, so there's going to be plenty of action. And if you are on iRacing and want to get involved, you can be more than welcome to come and join the rest of the drivers. We appreciate to see as many cars get out on track as possible. So if you are keen for that, you can check out our league on iRacing. You can also get all the details from our Facebook page. If you haven't done so yet, hit that follow button. We will be back... 7:30 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time next Monday for the final, and then we also do have Project Cars 2 on Thursday nights. So thanks for joining us, and we hope we can see you trackside next week.